Good morning, everyone. It's Ace Karmic Cat here again today with another uh, Thomas Wynn Railway 2022 unboxing and review. Uh, before I get started, I wanted to wish everyone a happy Easter. So, um, as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be uh, unboxing Percy now. Um, from what I've seen, Percy is definitely the best one, aside from, uh, you know, Gordon. I mean, yeah, with, like, given practicality and all that, I mean, Percy's probably the best one, so we'll take a look at him in the box here. Um, we can't really get a good shot of his face without, um, the shadow getting in the way, but there he is. He has a surprised face as he, uh, is shown on the box here, so... Once again, I'm going to try and get as much of this on camera as I possibly can, and this one probably won't go on for too long, since I'm not really going to do, like, a, uh... Uh, some kind of, like, agility test or whatever it would be. To, like, see how he, uh, handles on the rails. Because he probably handles better than Gordon, seeing as he only has, uh, four wheels. So. Almost got him out of here. Oops, lift him above the camera there. All right, here we go. Oh, sorry, old style Percy. This always seemed so sad when I was little. Just anything that uh, was tied down like this is just like, man, really? Especially if it was like uh, something like, I remember Cars tunes, like Mater's Tall Tales. I remember they uh, would make these uh, packs that had uh, a whole bunch of characters in them. And, like, they were all tied down individually. And it's just like, oh, man, that's going to take forever to get them unboxed. And, you know, as a kid, I did not have the patience for that. But now I'm I'm an adult and I have no excuse. Uh, was that all the way? That was not all the way. Drat. Come on, you. Uh, yeah, I, I think this is a problem with the packaging. It seems a little too tight. But, there we go. I got him undone, and now I just need to pull him out. And there he is. Oh, wonderful. I love it. Okay, now that he's out of the box, we can take a look at some of the details on him. First of all, um, the face. Everyone seems to be kind of divided on the faces. Like, some people kind of wish they had just given him, like, a regular smiling face, while others really do appreciate, like, the alternate, um, expressions, like his surprised face. I actually do like his little surprised face. Like, I kind of wish there was a, uh, smiling variant, but at the same time, the surprised face is, uh, it's just adorable. Um, so his wheels have some detailing on them, and I don't know if this is accurate to Percy's model, oh wow, I don't know if this is accurate to Percy's model in the actual show, but he doesn't seem to have counterweights on his wheels, and I looked on the, I looked on the box, I actually saw someone else do a review on him, um, before I did this, actually, uh, and their, their model didn't have to seem, didn't seem to have counterweights either, which is a little interesting. But the detailing is fantastic. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more so you can see everything. He's got rivets. He's got the beautiful red stripes. His dome is just perfect. His uh, number six looks pretty cool. And once again, in the uh, cab here, you can see like a red glow indicating that his firebox is lit. Um... One of the main reasons as to why I love this uh, model of Percy, which I think why everyone loves this model, is because it's finally like the first accurate model of Percy that we actually have. Like, fully accurate. Because of, uh, like, proportion-wise. Because here he is, like, compared to Thomas. Oh, that doesn't really help. There we go. And as you can see, Thomas is uh, a little bit longer than, than Percy which is how it is in the show and in the books, I believe. But here we have, like, the old-style Percy. Like, this is 2003 Percy, so, you know, about about 20-year difference here. 
Um, he's the same length as Thomas, and I just gave him the same chassis, just with the middle wheel missing. And uh, now we finally have like a full, like a like an accurate scale Percy, and it and it's really nice. And I am absolutely in love with the uh, with the coal bunker here, like how it actually has this um, this texture. Um, okay, this this see, I'm I'm sensing a pattern here with these uh, with these engines. Give me a second here to grab Gordon. So here is the 2022 Gordon. Oh wow, these two look great together. Um, and as you can see, both of them have buffer detailing on the front here. Percy doesn't have it on the back, and neither does Gordon for some reason. Um, it, I guess it's not a huge drawback, but you know, consistency would be a a little nice to you know have the buffer beam on the front and the back. But then again, I guess we shouldn't really complain since you know this is a very nice model. And did I ever mention that it is miles better from Thomas Wood? Did I? Okay, so as I said, I'm not going to be doing any, like, uh, tests with Percy to see how he handles because, well, he doesn't have bogeys like Gordon, and it seems uh, a little redundant to do something like that. And, you know, it's not as interesting as Gordon since he's such a small engine. Like, you know, of course he's going to fit on the turntable. He's going to fit on any turntable. Um, but he definitely does look good pulling uh, solar mail coaches. He, I mean, he looks... He looks really good among everyone, among everything on the uh, on the layout, and uh, and I do like his surprised face. Honestly, I'm thinking I might make a uh, a remake of Percy Runs Away with this model because uh, I think it it, it kind of serves like the perfect face for that for when Percy is running away from Gordon. Um, but yeah, there's not really that much else to be said. I mean, it's a uh, it's a great model. Uh, the name is underneath. It has the, uh, it's like, uh, kind of not, v it's vertical, I suppose. It's not horizontal like, uh, it is on the older engines. But, you know, it's, uh, it's still nice, and he definitely handles very well, and, uh, it's a good model. I will say that, honestly. Uh, I mean, I haven't gotten any of the other models of the uh, other engines yet, aside from Gordon. But I think I'd have to say this is probably the best Percy model. And seeing that, um, that he doesn't have a smiling face, and like everyone seems to be kind of divided about the um, about how the face should look, if he should be if this face is fine, or if he should have a happy face. I kind of wish he had a happy face, but I do like the surprise face. So I give him a solid nine point five out of ten. Yeah, so I suppose I'll about do it for my review. Uh, happy Easter, everyone! Go on out there and uh, eat some uh, eat some chocolate uh, egg shaped chocolates or whatever, and uh, have fun. I know I'm gonna have fun with uh, this Percy for a bit. So uh, this is Ice Kermit Cat saying good night, folks. I'll think of something original to say later. <laughs>